Hello everybody! I am extremely excited today and a little over caffeinated. And I am going to be doing a drugstore haul for you guys today. I'm also going to be putting out a Jordana lippy review slash comparison-ish stuff. -ish. And then I'm also going to be doing a tutorial for you guys. So it's going to be three different videos. Um, so stay tuned if you want to see all of that goodness. So the first one I'm going to be doing for you is the Jordana Lippy Review slash Comparison-ish Stuffs. So I have, I have found Jordana lipsticks through another YouTuber a long time ago. Her name's Vintage or Tacky. And she did a video on her favorite drugstore slash inexpensive lipsticks. And Jordana was a main component in that video. And then I started searching for more videos on the swatches and I kind of fell in love. Because those lipsticks are $1.27 a piece, I believe they are. That's right, you heard me. $1.27 a piece. It's kind of cray. Now that's for the original lipsticks. Um, these are a little bit more. I wish I had saved my receipt so I could tell you exactly how much. I've been wearing these for about two weeks now so I could give you a proper review on them. I didn't save my receipt. They were each a little over $2 a piece. I don't remember the exact change. You can find these on their website, jordana.com, J-O-R-D-A-N-A. -A. I'll link that down below. Um... And you can also purchase these at Walgreens. I have heard tell that you can also purchase these at Kmart's. However, I don't ever go into Kmart. I hate that damn place. So I couldn't tell you from first-hand experience. So, get on with it. I purchased these that we're going to be going over today. I have four of them at my local Walgreens. Okay? All the other lipsticks I purchased from them I got online because my Walgreens didn't have much of a selection. So... The first thing we're going to talk about is the much anticipated in the beauty community and very exciting modern matte lipsticks by Jordana. Um, I really hate to be the bearer of bad news here, but I did not like these for the most part. I, I'll tell you why. I didn't not like them. I will wear them. I'm not going to like give them away or anything. I will wear them. I liked the shades a lot. So basically this formula is supposed to be a matte formula. Uh, I got two colors. The first one I got is matte classy. Okay, let me do a swatchy swatch. A little swatchy swatch. Okay. So this is basically a mauve toned color. Um, this is one of my favorite lipstick colors to wear, these mauve colors. I love this color. I feel like they got the shade right. In fact, this looks so much like my, fa my all-time favorite lipstick, which is by Kat Von D, Lovecraft. That it's sickening, and I thought that I got I got really excited whenever I first bought this. So I thought that I wouldn't have to repurchase that twenty dollar lipstick ever again. But not so much because this drags on your lips. It tugs as you put it on, and I will show you. I'll sacrifice for you guys. But did you see how hard it was for me to just get it on my wrist? It tugs and it pulls on your lips because of this formula. Now I understand that it's matte and matte lipsticks usually do pull a little bit, but this is a little excessive, I think. It's also not just a matte formula. Now this one is matte. This uh, classy, this is matte. This is a true matte shade. There's no shimmer to this. It's not shiny on your lip. It's matte. It's very pretty. It doesn't look drying on your lip, but it is. This killed my lip after one day of wearing it. So, there's that. Okay? The second color that I got is the Matte Style. And I really like this color. This is a blue-based lipstick. It's going to really make your teeth look gorgeous. I don't feel like this is a true matte color. Um, you see how much easier that went on? 
Okay, so the formula of this one I like better. I love the shade. The shade's very pretty. It looks really pretty on the lips, too. Like I said, it's very flattering. However, this isn't a true matte. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I don't think you can. This is a very creamy, not shimmery, but it has a bit of a shine to it. And Jordana's kind of known for not staying true to their classification in their lipsticks because they have a matte set of lipsticks already that have been around. Um, these are the modern matte, but they have regular matte lipsticks and they are very well known for not being, not all of them are matte. I don't know who decides that they're going to be matte or not, but this isn't a matte lipstick. Um, this one was not as drying on my lips. However, you definitely have to wear a lip liner with this. This is this feathers worse than most other lipsticks I've ever tried. And my lips don't necessarily tend to feather too badly, even though I'm coming up on my 30s. I'm going to get in close. Here we go. In through here. Worst feathering I've ever experienced. It was awful. So be warned. It's really pretty. You need to wear a lip liner with this. The staying power on these, by the way, um, on this one, this is the Classy, very good. I didn't have to reapply this for the first probably six hours of the day. This one, total shit. I had to reapply this maybe an hour after I put it on. So there you go, that gives you that. The next thing that we're gonna be reviewing is the Twist and Shines by Jordana. These are the Moisturizing Lip Balm Stains. If you've ever used the Revlon uh, Balm Sticks, this is exactly the same product. I mean exactly. It looks the same in the tube. It looks the same this way. It applies the same. It feels the same. It's the same thing. And I believe the balm has a lippy stick in this kind of form too, the stain slash balm-ish stuffs. So anyway, so the first one I got is another Go Figure mauve color. This one is called Nude Chic. And I don't know if you can tell or not, do you see the slant I got going on on that already? I have only been wearing this for two weeks. I'm in love with this color. When I first got this color, and I brought it home and I put it on my lips, it was immediate disappointment. I was ready to tell you guys how much I hated this color. And then I put it on again the next day, and that was it. It was true love. I love this lipstick. This is one of those better than my lip color shades. So it's very shiny. It's very shimmery. This has a lot of shimmer in it, so if you're a girl who doesn't like shimmer on her lips, you're not gonna like this color. Um, not all of these Twist and Shines have shimmer in them, but they are all shiny from a sort of glossiness that they have in them. Um, staying Power, I'm not really sure why they're calling this a stain, I will say. I didn't feel like they stained my lips at all. Whenever they started to fade, it just looked like a lipstick that was fading and I needed to reapply my lipstick. It wasn't like the shine went away and the color stayed, where I've had that happen with most true stains. But I've ha I feel that that's the same way with all of these balm stain sticks by any brand. They're all the same. This, there's really no staining power. It's just, it's a nice lipstick. In fact, I'm going to put this on right now. There is a scent to these. Um, it's not perfumey though. Like, of course it's perfumey. It's a scent. But it's not overbearing. So as you can see, that's extremely light and that's why I was ready to hate it. But I just fell in love with it. The more I wore it, the more I liked it because it goes really well whenever I do a real dark, intense eye. Okay, so the next color I'm going to be showing you guys is Candied Coral. This is again one of the Twist and Shines. And I really liked this guy. Um, this one has really pretty color payoff. 
they're calling this a coral. I'm going to say this is closer to like, you know those pink flamingos that go in your front yard <laughs> of your tacky neighbor's house? This is that color. This is That's what color this is. It's kind of an intense pink slash coral, beachy, summery, goodness, wonderful color. That's what that is. Uh, staying power on this is the exact same as the Chic Nude. If I was going to compare these two, the Modern Matte to the Twist and Shines, I will definitely be repurchasing more of these. I will never re I will never purchase more of these. Um, I felt like they were too inconsistent, and I just didn't care for the formula that much. It just pulled on my lips too much. And I do like a matte lip color. I just don't like something that's going to hurt me. I don't think most people would. So, yeah, I will be purchasing more of these in the future, but I definitely won't be purchasing more of these. Just sum it up. So, there you go. So, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment or email or hit me up on Facebook or any of that kind of jazz. Um, stay tuned today because I'm also going to be doing, again, a drugstore haul. Yes, girl. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Bye.